is a um, leader of uh, the ladies' ministry here and also one of the deacons. We will have uh, two short uh, prayers that we will make today. As you remember, we had talked about commissioning of uh, um, two missionaries. So we'll do that right now. Um, and uh, we hope it will be brief, so uh, please stay as we do this. And then after that, there will be baptism. Uh, Elder Ngigi and Elder Changam will be leading us uh, in baptism at the pool. Uh, for those who are being baptized, uh, they will also be preparing uh, for that. Um, so, um, every so often, like, like once a year, sometimes twice, we do prayer safaris. Prayer safaris are, are functions that we take uh, from here, we take a particular direction like Masabit side, or we go towards uh, Garissa and the coastal side, and we go praying for missionaries from different denominations, praying with them, and uh, once in a while, we're taking a small gift um, as, we, as we do that. And um, uh, a year or so ago, uh, one of our teams was headed towards uh, Masabit, um, and so they passed by a place called Laisamis. Laisamis is after you pass Isiolo, um, one of those uh, towns there, and there was a missionary there um, who uh, our team found and prayed with them, uh, prayed with them, and uh, they decided that they would, they would, they would do something small uh, in form of a small gift uh, that they would like to uh, present. And I want to invite our brother John Degua. Uh, John Degua, uh, Pastor John Degua is uh, one of our members. You can take one of those mics, uh, sanitized. Um, he, will, he will introduce uh, the missionary and his wife, um, and then they will come here. We'll be praying for them uh, shortly. Pastor John. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Buona sifiwe. Uh, because of this uh, family, and do two greetings. I will say, Serian, and then you can say, Oh, ye, Serian, oh, ye, Serian, Poki, oh, ye, Nebe Haiten, eh, oh, ye, that one you say, Nebe, Nebe Haiten, oh, ye, because they'll be speaking two languages. <laughs> they are serving among the Ariel Rendile. Ariel Rendile are Rendiles who have assimilated to Samburu culture for survival. The Randilas keep camels and goats because they live in the desert of northern Kenya. But because of survival, when it's very dry, they want to go to the mountains and to the forest. So they keep some cows, and they made arrangement with the Samburu people. So they, we call them Aria Randila. You hear them speaking Samburu, sometimes they speak Randila, even in one family. And they are along the highway from Isiolo going away up to Masabit. So this is uh, my name, Miss John Degwa, for those who don't know me. I'm part of this church because of missions. So I'm here and I'm up in the north and other places. So we have Benson Munene. Benson Munene. And the wife, Masi. Um, can I ask them to Good, remove? and they have their, their, their little one here. I'll ask them to remove their masks uh, fully for yeah, a little they while. Want to see you. Just remove it completely, uh, even John, yes, for a while, yeah. so that we can see you properly, and the cameras can also see you, and then later you will return them. Yeah, thank you. Ikitu nasumbua. Ikorona irudi bahari yake. Sisi nataka kukaa uhuru tuwanane. Benson and Marcy, they got married. 2020, after campus, they were trained in missions. Then they had a call to go to northern Kenya, particularly a place called Nairobi. It's just the same as Nairobi because Maasai's were going up north and south uh, near Laisamis, 16 kilometers west of Laisamis, where these people, community called Ariel and Dira, live. So they are from central Kenya, Kiamutogo, Kirenyaga County. Central Kenya. They are going to leave their Nguashe, their Marigo, their good food, and go and drink the camel milk and the goat milk and live among the Rendile. They have been there since last year. They have been there, so they are not going for the first time. They actually got their firstborn there in Laisamis, so they, you can survive in the desert. So we don't want to give them more time now. 
but I just want to get back to Pastor Peterson. Have your seat. God bless you. Um, I'll ask them to stay just where they are. Thank you. Just, just stay where you are. Uh, I'll invite our brother uh, Sami uh, Sami Maingi uh, to bring in um, a little gift uh, for their missionary work, and then we will uh, pray uh, for them. John, you could take a seat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, you can keep your mic separate. So, uh, Benson, how are you doing? All right. All right. So, again, what's the name of this uh, little girl? Rehab. Reham. R A H A. R A Y. Re. And then H A M. Reham. <laughs> All right. Where did that one come from? <laughs> It doesn't seem to be in the Bible. I only know Rehab. <laughs> it's an Arabic name. All right. So you have interest in uh, um, Ar 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 Arabs? Or maybe. <laughs> All right. There is your gift coming. Thank you. <laughs> wow. All right. That is uh, your gift for, um, for ministry among the um, Ariel Rendile in Laisamis. Um, some uh, people who uh, saw you a need uh, went back and they thought that this uh, might be of help. And so we, we want uh, you to receive it. Um, and we want to request a few, a few people, a few elders uh, to, to come. Let me ask uh, Professor Njoroge. I, I see him there. You can just come here. We'll be praying for them. Um, Oscar, uh, Mr. Kihara. And then we'll invite uh, Bonaventure Mbogwa, who is the chair of the missions board. And uh, Sister Sylvia. Um, also Thomas Getumbe, who is a member of the missions board. Uh, then we'll invite uh, Sister Joyce Geshongwa, who is the deacon in charge of the missions, and uh, also our sister uh, Emily, uh, one of the deacons, and Francis, another deacon. Then we'll invite uh, John Degua, John Degua, Pastor Anne, and uh, myself. We can just space um, for purposes of just ensuring that we are not uh, too near each other. Um, and then we will uh, pray for... Um, um, for, we'll dedicate uh, the uh, motorbike, uh, Brother br br Kehara, can, you can go right there, uh, Kehara, right there, yes, and then uh, Tom, nearer there, uh, all right. Okay, so we want to pray and dedicate, we'll pray for two things, we want to dedicate this uh, um, motorbike for the work of God, we want to dedicate it for the work of God. And then we want to pray for this uh, missionary couple that God will bless them, encourage them, and strengthen them as they serve uh, in Laisamis. Let's stretch out our hands, and uh, for them, you can go near to your motorbike. You can touch it. It's going to be yours. Um, and uh, anyone who is near there and you want to do that, please go ahead and let's, let's do it for the glory of God. And wherever you are, just stretch out your hands. Say a word to the Lord about these uh, missionaries. We've just learned about prayer. Uh, from our sister Lydia. Let's practice that right now. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity you have given us to fellowship with this family, a young family with a young child whom you have called to the north. We want to thank you for the people who saw this need that they had and who decided uh, to purchase this motorbike. We want to thank you as a congregation for the opportunity to be here and to be part of the commissioning. We dedicate this motorbike to your ministry and to your service in the name of Jesus. We also pray for this couple. Bless them, Lord. Let them never lack anything, O oh, sovereign Lord. Provide for them supernaturally in the name of Jesus. 
As for this motorbike, we dedicate it to your service. We pray that it will be a blessing, not a curse. We pray it will be protected from break unnecessary breakdowns, from accidents, and that it will serve your purposes to the glory and honor of your name. These things we do in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let God's people say, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, so, elders, we can, we can sit, and the leaders, um, um, a brother a Sam will help them know where, how to handle it. But uh, Benson, if you have a word, if you have uh, something quick to say, one of those microphones that is sanitized. Okay, this one, fine. You could uh, say a quick one, and then we'll move on to the next prayer. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Yeah, we are very much delighted to be here. It has been our first day in this service. And we are blessed. Thank you for uh, Reverend and uh, the team who have found it well to bless us uh, with uh, the gift and also to pray for us. Indeed, prayers are very, very much uh, crucial for every uh, believer and every worker that is done. And when we are out there uh, in Nairobi, uh, what I request from every one of you is that you keep us in your prayers. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are blessed. Amen. So, a final prayer. Um, today we are extremely delighted. Uh, we in the leadership, um, we are so happy uh, that we are able to send another missionary from uh, this church into the mission field. We have adopted two countries at the moment. One is Cambodia, where our sister Seyan uh, is. The other one is Southern Sudan. And we are so grateful that uh, God has enabled us. At the moment, we already support two missionaries uh, in Southern Sudan. Now we are adding, and those are local people um, through the Episcopal Church. Now we are adding one missionary who is from this church and who will go to serve for the next 12 months in Southern Sudan. That's why you see two um, you see two flags here. One is uh, Kenya, the other one is Southern Sudan. And uh, you also see um, some um, banners here, World Concern Africans to Africa, and World Concern Africans uh, to Africa. These are uh, organizations that we partner with, and somebody is going to help us uh, just quickly mention um, uh, about them. But I want to begin by acknowledging um, uh, Brother Freddy, if you could stand. Uh, that's uh, Freddy uh, Kimoho. Yes, thank you very much. He's the one we are going to send. He's one of our staff. We are sending him to Southern Sudan for uh, 12 months. Uh, but I also want to, to acknowledge his, uh, the family. Um, if his mother is here and uh, uh, relatives and friends who came along, uh, please do stand. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. God bless you. You may be seated. Um, so Deliverance Church Kahasukari is uh, seeks to be a missional uh, church. And a missional church is a, is a church that thinks beyond its four walls. It sees beyond, sees a bigger world, God's world. And it sees, it hears the Macedonian call from different parts of the world and different uh, people groups. And, and so we, that's what we seek to do. And uh, we know we cannot do that alone, that we need other people. We need uh, organizations to partner with. Uh, we need other churches to partner with. And so, by the grace of God, um, we've, uh, uh, we, we are part of a group of uh, churches that we call Africans to Africa. A group of churches, we also call them the regional church in Kenya, that seek to support God's work right here in Kenya, but also in other parts of the world. And uh, Southern Sudan and DRC are some of those uh, uh, countries and also here in, in, in Kenya. We partner with an organization called World Concern. And uh, I want to invite a brother Harun, uh, who is one of the leaders uh, in World Concern, Harun Mutuma, uh, one of those mics which is uh, sanitized. He's going to greet us, yes, any of those, um, he's going to greet us and tell us a little bit about uh, 
about uh, uh, that relationship, um, and then he will introduce uh, to us um, the host, uh, the one who will be hosting, uh, a brother Freddy, uh, Reverend John. So, Harold, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Right. Thank you, Pastor, for the invitation. My name is uh, Arun Motuma, and in South Sudan, because now we are talking about South Sudan, they call me Majongdit. Uh, <laughs> I know if I call you Majongdit, some people may say I've insulted them, but uh, it's the first born of a cow. <laughs> yeah, so when I'm there, they call me Majongdit. So I'm happy to be here. And in South Sudan, and using that language, uh, they say... Uh, Chobak, when they want to greet you, or uh, in his language, they say Chiruoni. How do you respond, my brother? Okay, thank you very much. And in Arabic, they say Shukuru Rabuna, or uh, others will say Shukuru Rabana. So those are some of the languages uh, which the church will learn as we continue. And I'm happy for the church. You have uh, joined us as World well, Concern in partnership with this relationship we started some years ago called Africans, uh, reaching out to Africans, because we feel that as Africans, we can reach out to our fellow Africans better than somebody from another country. And there is evidence. When we started partnering with this church, uh, we have been able to train 25 evangelists, and three of those are supported by this church. And through that partnership, more than 90 churches have been planted in South Sudan. And uh, more than 13,000 people have made decisions to follow Christ. And because if we can create four figures, more than 25,000 people are attending church. So thank you, Pastor, for the partnership. And uh, through the church, you have helped us come with a discipleship manual. Actually, we didn't have. So we got this from the church. Thank you so much. And uh, Pastor Mainge and uh, our pastor here is in part of the advisory council for African reaching out to Africans. So as an organization, we are offering that platform for churches and professionals to reach out. And for South Sudan, if you want to preach to Middle East, to Arab world, train South Sudanese because they are very good in Arabic both the Juba Arabic and the classical Arabic. They call classical Rabbana, the other Juba Arabic, Rabbana. So those are some of the languages my brother you learn. I've been in South Sudan for many years. My first time to go to South Sudan in June 2016, and for all that round time I've been going in and out of South Sudan. And with me I came with a few friends. Can you start? Uh, because of time, no time. So you cannot start... Uh, I know Gachora should be somewhere. Okay, yeah, yeah, my brother is there. So this is Mark. He was our first uh, missionary to South Sudan. He spent uh, for some time there. Thank you, Mark. Next to him is called Lalaka Chaplin. He is a South Sudanese. He is coming for a training here called Che. Those people know it. So you'll be here for a week to learn. And this is a friend of mine, Reverend John Dow, or Reverend John Chol, many names. I got to know him in 2010 when he was working for Sudan Council of Churches. And my brother over there, he was also working for Sudan Council of Churches. And sometime we went to the same class, St. Paul's University. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for that. I want to invite uh, John. John, because he's the one who will be hosting uh, our brother, Frederick. Frederick, this will be your host. Um, uh, he's a great man. Uh, he's a reverend and also the director of um, Good Shepherd Academy, and is looking forward that you'll be able to train Dafurians English Perfect. so that you can be able to reach the Muslim world. That's why I'm happy yeah. there's a name, uh, an Arabic name somewhere. So, and thank you so much, uh, Brother Gashora, for coming to be with us. Thank you very much. God bless. Did I say my name? Uh, ah, yes, you did. Yes, Arun Mutuma, I'm the regional representative on of Africa, Kenya, Somalia, and South Sudan. Thank and you. there are missions going on in South Sudan, by the way. Somalia. Thank you, Harold. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Praise God. Amen. And praise Jesus. And I'm so happy to be here and uh, this morning and to worship with you. 
My name is Reverend John Choldow, as uh, my brother Aaron has already said. And I'm so happy and really grateful for God's work. And uh, I heard uh, much about your church through my brother uh, Wangombe, whom I just met this year, actually. And uh, so this year uh, seemed to be a year of blessing uh, for me to meet new people and people in the kingdom of Jesus. I come from South Sudan, uh, as already has been said, and God has called me back to South Sudan as a missionary to my own people. And, and that, that blesses my heart. And God calls me to a specific uh, item, a missionary item, uh, Christian leadership development. And that's what I'm doing in South Sudan. And we're doing it through our academy, Good Shepherd Academy, whom was actually been started with a vision of my wife. Because my, my thinking has been to develop Christian leaders in college level. But my wife said, you're missing the strategy. Let's start it from the bottom. So we started uh, Good Shepherd Academy to train children. And currently, we have 400 children. And our college programming has just graduated 79 students and in leadership and peace buildings. And these are the ministries that my brother uh, Fred will be involved with. And in that country, my brothers and sisters, we need leadership, leadership dynamics change, leadership that is towards God, leadership that would serve with favor of God, with love of God, all the chaos you see in our world, and in particularly in my own country, is it just needs to be changed through Christian leadership. So my brother Fred, uh, I'm so grateful to welcome you and to work with you and, and, and as missionaries to the South Sudanese people and, and also to other countries. God is also calling us through our institutions to reach out to Darfurians who used to be our enemies. They used to be the soldiers that the Arab government in the north used them to come and fight us and clean us out so that they can take over the land. But God has changed our, our hearts now to turn to them so that they can know Jesus. And that's another ministry. And that's another ministry Fred would be... Uh, 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 privilege to work and so that we can do discipleship ministry together uh, through teaching them English language and bring the name of Jesus to them. So I'm so delighted to be with you and I thank you this particular church and all the members because you have done what uh, uh, the Pelifian church has done. The Pelifian church was a sending church, was a missionary church that was sending things to Paul and, and, and the other people. And also, Fred, you have done exactly what Isaiah did in Isaiah 6 when Isaiah was called and he presented himself and said, here I am. And I will continue to pray to all of us that we will be saying our yes, I am here to be sent, all of us in different ways of our lives. Thank you so very much and I praise God for my brother and sister in, in Marsabit area, I also have a prayer partner there, the Bishop of the Diocese of Marsabit. He's a missionary there to his own people, and we work together with them. Thank you very much, Dr. Wangombe, and God bless you. So when Freddy is not here, you know he is in the good hands of uh, uh, Pastor John. So now I want to invite uh, Freddy here so that we can pray for him. Um, and uh, we also want to invite uh, a few elders. Again, uh, Elder Joroga, if you can come. Uh, Joroga is the chair of the elders' board. I don't know whether Grace Tuku is here today. Um, and no, not here today. But Professor Tuku can come and represent her. Uh, Elder Ngigi, Elder Changamu, if you could join us. And then we will have uh, Bonaventure and Sylvia, again, representing the uh, missions board. Um, Charles Kavuvo, if you're around, uh, Daktari. Um, then a few deacons like Charles Kamande, uh, the Njugus, uh, whoever is here, the Njagis, whoever is here. Um, if you, we can't be here, we can stand wherever we are. Uh, then I want to invite uh, Freddie's mother. Uh, Freddie's mother, if uh, you are in the house, Mama Kama, 
uko e, umekaribishwa sana hapa nitatuombe huyu e, kijana uh, then Harun Mutuma please join us Reverend John Ndegwa uh, and uh, uh, Pastor Ann, and uh, then we will we'll be able to pray Anko Patrick, Anko Patrick, uh, please, uh, unaweza karibia pia. So, Freddy is going to kneel there, and uh, we will just stretch our hands uh, towards him as we pray uh, for him. Uh, mama, karibu sana. Sasa wewe kwa sababu mnakaanga na huyu kijana, unaweza karibia hapo. Asante <laughs> sana. So, um... One of the elders, so you could just come closer, like Dr. Changamu there. Uh, okay, we only on call. Sawa, sawa. All right. Um, let's stretch out our hands. We are commissioning Freddy to go uh, to um, North, uh, Southland Sudan. Heavenly Father, we bring to you our brother Freddy, who is uh, one of our members here, whom we have known since he was a Sunday school child. We want to thank you for the opportunity to now commission him and send him to another country as a missionary. What a privilege it is, Lord, that you have allowed us to participate in. And as we send him, we send him in the name of Jesus, believing you for a miracle of provision and blessings when he is in that country believing you for transformation and for real impact in the school that he will be serving, but also in the community where he will be chaplain and other places where you may send him within Sudan and beyond. Heavenly Father, we have also heard the cry uh, for Darfur. We commit those people to you. They are your people. You created them. We know you have a, a message for them too. Now, Heavenly Father, we pray for our brother, uh, praying that you may be with him as he steps out into the unknown world for him, first time to be in that country. We pray for good health for him. We pray for um, uh, adaptation to the culture, the food, the environment. Lord, we pray even for safe journey as he travels to that country. We want to pray for his mother here, his uncle, his siblings. We commit them to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you that they're able to release him to travel out of this country. We pray that they'll be peaceful. We pray that you keep them calm and that they will know that their, their son is in good hands. In your hands, Lord, those are the wonderful hands in which we entrust ourselves. And as a body of Christ here, represented by the leaders here, and all of us who are stretching our hands to, uh, to Freddie, Freddie, we bless you. We bless you with anointing. We bless you with wisdom. We bless you with good health. We bless you with safety. We bless you with impact in the name of Jesus. And brothers and sisters, as we stretch out our hands, we are also stretching our hearts. We have been taught to pray, and we will be praying for our brother Freddy. We Let's commit ourselves to praying, to supporting, to encouraging. And now, my brother, we commission you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let God's people say, Amen. 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 Asante ni sana, sasa tunaweza keti. Um, I had asked Freddy whether he had a word and he said uh, he would rather write later. Ama umepata nguvu. You can try. Let's give Freddy a mic. Um, now you need to sanitize that one. There's a sanitizer right there. All right. Okay. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Praise right the Lord right again. Uh, this morning, I'm... Um, very grateful to the Lord for allowing me to go to South Sudan. And I know I'm not going alone. We are going together with you people because you'll be praying for me as the today someone. It's only my prayer that you continue praying for me and working with me. Uh, when uh, when uh, Lydia was preaching this morning, I remembered when I came here and how I used to go to Sunday school for those uh, many years. And I think tears uh, just start uh, rolling uh, down. 
uh, because I have seen what the Lord has done uh, in my life through you people. I have met a lot of people who have taught me, uh, from uh, Pastor Ann, uh, Mrs. Uh, Wambua, uh, Mrs. Mwiti, uh, Jessica Kinene, uh, the wife, and many other people who have taught me. So I have seen the growth, and you guys have always uh, stood with me. And uh, one of my uh, prayer partners and people who have been working with me, Dr. Catherine and Dr. Mwenda, uh, may the Lord bless you for always being there for me and praying together with me and Betty, Washira, and the family. And all of you, church, may the Lord bless you. I know I'm not going alone. We are going together with you. And this work, it's for all of us. Be blessed. Amen. Thank you very much. It's uh, such a joy to uh, be able to...